Well, welcome back to the uh, well back, um, a little. welcome back to the fishing doctor's adventures. Came out for a quick morning bite before I have to pack up the family and get out of here. Um, it's been warm the last two days, plus two. I know a lot of guys look at the temperatures and get scared of the ice. It can be plus two, plus three for several days. As long as you got a big base of ice, like 10, 12 inches, it's not gonna go anywhere. You're gonna be very safe going on the ice. When it's those temperatures, it barely thaws, okay? It rained yesterday, so you, as you see, the snow melted around here, but my, my holes were still had a thin layer of ice on them from two days ago. And look at this, I just dropped the jaw jacker down. I was just getting my camera out. I just popped the underwater camera down there. And uh, <laughs> look at this, big rainbow already. I'm gonna keep this one. So he's under, he's probably about, I don't know, 19 inches long on that tungsten poker face circle tackle jig. With the stationary jock jacker, I just got it down, so I'm gonna get it back down there, catch another one. Didn't even have the camera running yet. over there and he was just there another one really shallow water like five four or five feet deep and uh, I'm making noise right there covering up that other fish with ice and this one bit kind of makes you wonder about the noise theory sometimes well they're biting today amazing can't even get set up okay so the other day, I tried out this lemon meringue flapper by Certified Lucky Tackle. Worked excellent. I got lots of good underwater footage. So today I'm going to try out one of their other plastics and in different colors. This is the Snacks jig. It's like a little curly tail jig with a soft plastic body. The dark one with red metal flake. It's like a gray and it's called Trout Candy Snacks. This brownish colored one is called 10W30, obviously, because it looks like motor oil. So I'll try out this black one first, and then I'll give that motor oil one a try. You gotta line up your jig. Whenever you see your hook get bent out a little bit, you just bend it back. These ones can bend. Uh, this hook is not gonna break. You can bend it a little bit. Measure it up to see where it's gonna come out. And uh, this one has a little knob on the front. You can just prune that off with your fingers to get it sitting nicer. That's just left over from processing, I bet. So you see where it's gonna line up like that. Put your finger down there by the curve and then you, file, you thread it in down the middle. slide it all the way up to the head push it far just like that see how it that's how you want your jig to look angling down towards the curvature of the hooks so you leave lots of hook gap so you can catch those wily trout nice curly tail break the plastic off so it can move well there you go let's give it a try Also today, I'm trying out the Walleye X-Fast 34 inch rod. This is a stiffer rod by Circle Tackle. You can see it has a nice bend to it. Still really nice for a trout as well, especially when you're used to fishing some bigger trout. You want some more, um, <clears throat> you want some more backbone to the rod, this will be a great one, okay? So I'm gonna try it out. A little shorter, 34 inch, a little bit stiffer. And I've got this prime lure spoon on. We'll try it out.
So hook two there right away, but I'm not marking anything. So early morning, do the whole hopping because fish can be territorial. And if I hook two right away and then nothing, tells me that maybe those two are just hanging right around there. So when I drop that jig down, they bit within a few minutes of being there because they were right there ready to bite. So you gotta move around. Early AM's the time to do it. way quick and that fish came up and inhaled that snacks jig oh my I looked away quick and that trout came up he ate that snacks jig really quick I wasn't even moving that much just came and gobbled it beautiful fish another one for dinner okay on that little plastic with a little piece of shrimp. You see how moving from hole to hole can really work well first thing in the morning because I know some guys just sit and wait for them. But you see, I just get to a hole and I catch a fish right away. So keep on moving. If you have holes punched, you can find those new fresh fish. As soon as you drop down, they come in and eat it. So that is a key to early morning fishing. If you're catching fish or two right away and then it stops, hop over 50, 100 yards if you're on a flat and you might be into more fish right away. It can be that simple. If you sit and wait for them and you're not really on a good feeding zone runway, then you're not going to run into fish. If it's just a big flat area, sometimes they're all spread out in that area, kind of in their own zone. And even though I've only been in this hole for maybe five minutes, caught that fish in the first couple minutes I already feel like moving because I've got so many more holes and are right at prime time the fish will come in and eat it they're not in the spoon mood today it seems they just like that still jig oh I came off Well, thanks for joining me on that quick morning bite. Only caught, let's see, one, two, three fish. No, actually landed two, lost two. And uh, yeah, then the fish kind of disappeared. They're not that aggressive today. They're just hitting the jig when I'm holding it still. And they won't even come in to check out the spoon. So kind of what I expected after yesterday was super tight lip trout. They were just coming in and looking, they weren't even biting. With the storm that moved through yesterday and now it's breaking up today. They were eating, but uh, not too aggressive. That's okay. That's fishing. Got to give them what they want. Okay, till next time, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like the video. Share it with someone you like. And uh, hit the notification bell if you want to be noti notified of uh, when I'm posting videos next time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to go catch a big one. God bless. See you later. Well, that's it. The jaw jacker didn't go off anymore. I had it uh, recording while I was gutting my, I mean, had it trying to catch fish while I was gutting the fish. That's how it goes sometimes. They shut off early and then not much happens all the rest of the day. So can be good, can be slow. Just have to enjoy being out. Thanks for watching again. See you later.